All right, Shalom, Brother Kabai back in the GMS lesson. GMS keep pushing. Before I go any further, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Barakak, Wadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone for teaching us this truth according to the Bible and rule well. Another Shalom to all the sincere Akims throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity. All right, this is a quick lesson, man, on, um, you know, the ways of America will get you Israelites killed, man. You know, our people keep falling out of the ways and the customs and traditions of America, man. And it's, 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 it's rapidly putting our people to death, man. Okay, so I'm going to grab some scriptures and Lord willing, this will be an edifying lesson. <clears throat> First precept I'm going to grab, I'm going to go to... Here. This is Colossians chapter 2 verse 8 It says beware Lest any man spoil you through philosophy And vain deceit And that's what you see going on It's been going on man Okay Here in America You know the philosophies that's being taught here Okay The doctrines that's being taught here Okay, we're all equal. Okay, um, we're all American, which is bull crap. Okay, um, you know, all this voting, you know, it says, Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy, man. Okay, and when you go into that word, when you go into that word, philosophy. It's G5385 Philosophia. And it's, um, it says through, uh, it says wisdom. It says, um, use either of a zeal for, a, for or skill in any art, science, any branch of knowledge. Yeah, so don't let anyone, um, you know, spoil you. All right, through their uh, 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 vain wisdom, man, their vain um, um, knowledge, okay? So, let's see here. Zeal, you know? So, the scripture is telling you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man, you Hebrew Israelites, don't let anyone spoil you through those, uh, those churches, those uh, Methodists, those Baptists. Okay, the um, the Roman Catholic Church. Okay, because that's what Esau's been doing to our people ever since he came over here to to uh, uh, um, to uh, Asherah, man, which is which is known as America today. <clears throat> All right, it says, I'm reading from the top. This is uh, Colossians two and eight. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, at the tradition of men. And what are some of those traditions of men? Um, like you just had uh, Halloween. Okay. That's the tradition of, of, of men. Okay. That's the tradition of these heathens, man. Okay. You have uh, Thanksgiving coming up. All right. Then you have Christmas, birthdays, all these uh, 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 false uh, holidays, man. Okay. They have, they have spoiled our people, man. It says, after the tradition of men. See, the Lord gave us uh, uh, law, statutes, commandments. He gave us our own high holy days, okay, to, to, to follow by. Not after the tradition of these heathen men, okay? It says, after the rudiments of the world and not after Hamashiach. And that's the thing. Our people are following after the ways of, uh, uh, of man, man, you know? And not after uh, Hamashiach, you know? The anointed one, Lord Yahweh shot. You know? And the scripture tells us not to follow after them, man. Um This is Jeremiah ten and one. It says, Hear the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. See the Lord is only speaking to the children of Israel. Okay? Once again, which consists of the so-called Negroes, 
Latinos, and Native Americans, man. All right? You make up the house of Israel. Rather you want to believe it or not, man. All right? We're Yasha Allah, princes of the power, man. So Jeremiah is saying that the Lord is saying, speak to the children of Israel. Okay? Verse 2, Jeremiah 10 and 2. Thus saith the Lord. See, these are the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Not our own words. Okay? It says, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Learn not the way of the heathen. Okay? And like we read in Colossians, okay, the um, vain philosophies and doctrines that spoiled our people, man. At going after the tradition of men, okay, like we like I just, uh, quoted earlier, you just had Halloween, all right, and you had people uh, get put to death on that day. You had a lot of sacrifices on that day, okay. You had a lot of injuries on that day. People getting hit by cars. People getting hit by bullets, okay. You know the Lord tells us these things for a reason, man. It's for our benefit, you know. Like it says um, in Romans the fifteenth chapter. You know, the things that was written before time were written for our learning. You know, things what to do, what not to do, man. You know? But falling out of the way is these heathens, what's been killing our people, man. This is Jeremiah 10 and 2. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, learn not the way of the heathen. Okay? And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. But the point I wanted in that verse was, learn not the way of the heathen, man. Okay, and our people have, have 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 have, you know, gone after the heathen in their tradition, okay, and and the the rudiment of man for the longest man, and then they're wondering why they're getting jacked up. You know, they're wondering why they're putting the Christmas tree up and it burns their whole house down. You know, they're wondering why they touch some shrimp, and they and they're fighting for their life in a coma. You know, they're wondering why they're going trick-or-treating and their kid bites into a, a, a piece of candy with a, 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 a needle in it or a syringe in it, man. Our people are wondering why, man. It's because they're falling after the ways of the heathens, man. You know, the ways of America will get you Israelites put to death, man. You know, okay, we can't stress that enough. This is Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Come, and the scripture is uh is 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 saying you know it's saying spiritually, man, you know, mentally and spiritually to arise and depart from this place called America, man. All right, it's not saying get on a plane or get on a boat and head on over to the Middle East, you know, head on over to Jerusalem. Okay, no, man. It's telling you to arise and depart mentally and physically, uh, uh, mentally and spiritually. Okay, it says, for this is not your rest. Yeah, we're not supposed to be getting comfortable here. Okay, falling the ways of man. Okay, falling the ways of these heathens. Okay, and after their traditions, no man, we probably falling the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, once again, my family is get get it because I'm quoting it too many times. This is a. Uh, Romans 15 and 4 It says For whatsoever things were written before time Were written for our learning That's right the Hebrew Israelites learning That we through patient and comfort Of the scriptures might have hope That's right man hope of deliverance man But if you're following the ways Of America Look man you, for, you, can, you, can, you can forget all about it man Okay You're going to get put to death man If, you, if you're an Israelite so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, and you're still out here following the ways of America. And hey, look, man, you, you can kiss everything you love and own goodbye, man, because the Lord's going to snatch it away from you. Okay? It's Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye in the part, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted. Now, how is it polluted? It's polluted with the philosophies and doctrines that's being taught over here in America, man. You know? The churches. The different denominations of churches. Okay? Democrat, Republican, you know, having our people vote, not 
uh, 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 pushing that they're Israelites, telling them that they're uh, 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 black, telling them that they're uh, Latino, they're Spanish, okay? Telling them that they're Native Americans. Tell them to celebrate these pagan holidays, okay? Christmas, your birthdays, thanks Thanksgiving, uh, uh, Halloween, St. Patrick's Day, Mother's Day, Father's Day, New Year's Day. Okay, the list goes on and on, man. That's how this place has has polluted our people. It's polluting the minds of our people, man. To the point where when you tell them who they really are, they look at you like you're crazy. It says, Micah 2 and 10, it reads on, it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. And it has been destroying our people, man. The ways of America will get you Israelites killed, man. All right? And look, I'm going to grab another scripture real quick. Because we ought to be obeying the most high, man. Not man. You know? This is Acts 5 and 29. Then, where is it at? It says, Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey the most high, brethren, than men. That's right. And that's who we ought to obey. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Who the word we call God in Jesus Christ. Okay, a so-called black man according to the scriptures. That's who we suppose to obey, man. Not the words of men. Because the words of men, <laughs> you know, uh, um, the words of man, you know, the, these heathens, okay, is what been, what's been getting our people put to death. Following their ways. That's why we're in the predicament we're in now, man. You know? So, uh, it being your best interest, you know, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you know, to repent. Turn back to the God of the Bible and his only begotten son while you still have time. Because if you continue the ways of America, it will get you destroyed. So with that, Lord willing, it's an edifying lesson. Okay, before I go any further, I'm going to go ahead and close. I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekak Wadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth according to the Bible and who rule well. Another shalom to all the sincere Akiyams throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity. Shalom.